Hey guys, what is going on? It's Mac. Before this video starts, I just want to say thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's crazy to think that I just started this journey a little while ago, a little while ago with no expectations. Uh, obviously, super nervous uh, for the for doing this for the first time, but I just want to thank each and every every one of you for tuning in each week and leaving amazing comments and and just the support's unreal. And I just I hope I'm able to impact you guys in a positive way. That's why I'm on here. It's my goal. And yeah, just from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. And here's to uh, here's to the future. And hopefully by the end of this year, we can maybe hit 5,000, 10,000 subscribers. That'd be absolutely crazy. Uh, but yeah, please also stay till the end of the video if you enjoy. There's some good questions in here. I, I've gone through a couple. I've gone through a couple here, and I'm just going to read them out off the top of my head. Um, I feel like that's the best way I personally relay information. Uh, when I'm scripted and stuff like that, it doesn't come out as well. Um, so yeah, tune in to the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the first question. All right guys, so the first question I have here is from Traders Truth and he asks, he or she asks, your biggest trading struggles coming up and how you overcame them. I would say my biggest trading struggles at the very beginning was unrealistic expectations at the very beginning. You know, with trading, we see everyone we look up to, we see the nice cars and the money and the houses and all this stuff. and we think that we're gonna get there right away um, and don't take into account that these people put years and years and years of so many struggles and failures into that, that final picture that you're seeing. So I feel like by nature at the very beginning, your, your expectations kick in and you start thinking about the, the external stuff and you start thinking about you know, the final destination instead of all the process and all the, all the, the steps you need to do in order to get there in the first place. Uh, so I think that was my biggest, that was my biggest struggle. How did I overcome it? Um, just, you know, coming to reality with things and knowing that every single day, as long as I'm better than the previous day uh, with my trading and I'm putting in all the effort, um, I, I knew I would get to where I wanted to be. And I'm, I'm nowhere close, but I'm super, super uh, grateful. And I, I'm so much further away, or sorry, I'm so much closer every day um, and you know that's why I strive to be better every single day because you just by law are gonna be closer to your goal than if you aren't working on it um, every single day. So I put in the work, put in the time, you guys know all about that, but I would say how did I overcome that? Drop expectations and just do your damn best. Don't compare your timeline to anyone else's because there's so many different variables. Um, for myself, I've been putting in 10 hours a day, eight hours a day for for over two years now, just grinding, 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 grinding. It's, it's my love, it's what I love. Um, so you can't compare that if you're someone who puts in two hours a day or three hours a day, uh, it's gonna be a lot different. And I know there's a lot of variables in the sense that, you know, some people have a lot of stuff going on, some people don't. Uh, that's why I just don't compare your journey with someone else. Your journey is unique, it's special, it's just yours. And that's how I would say uh, to overcome that. All right, so the next question is from official.sg.fx. Uh, what book should every trader read? Appreciate it. I would say you gotta read the traditional ones, Disciplined Trader, Trading in the Zone. Uh, but then I would say, you know, I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, but it's the, the psychology books, the inner work, inner work books, um, you know, self-development, because that's how we become better as traders. We, you become a better person, you're gonna become a better trader. It's not. It's not the other way around. And like I said before, you grow into the trader you want to be. You don't, you aren't that person right now. You don't possess those tools uh, for your, for your skill set right now. It's a lot of internal growth. So I would say self-development books. I just read a book called uh, Think Like a Monk. That was amazing. Um, the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. That was unbelievable. 5 a.m. Club. Uh, what ones? Think Grow Rich off the top of my head. Um, what other ones do I have over there? Hmm. Think Grow Rich. Uh, da, da, da. There's so many other ones. I'll do a video on this soon, an updated book. Uh, but I would say the best book that I've read recently is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. And behind that same author uh, is the 5 a.m. Club. So I hope that helps. But yeah, not so much trading books. I don't think you should read books on trading. I think you should read books on psychology and how to become a better person. All right, so the next question's from Andrew Richardson. Um, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Uh, how does someone with no stock knowledge create, read, 
uh, read slash understand and predict charts. I would say get on YouTube, man. There's so many free content out there. Uh, I would say don't jump into you know paying for something right away. There's so much free content online that you can find that you can you know help put you in the right direction and you know kind of find you just got to learn the basics at the very beginning you know it's like anything you don't just jump from the bottom all the way to the top learn the basics because then you're going to be more motivated to continue if you just if you go to like an advanced course right away or something like that you're going to have no clue what's going on um and it's going to be very demotivating so i would say youtube's your best friend right now youtube is an unbelievable platform i love it so much there's so much free information online, it's unbelievable. So I would say just literally type in everything, how to learn stocks for beginners, how to learn Forex, crypto, anything. Literally anything is on YouTube. So that's where I would suggest going, man. I wouldn't suggest buying a course or anything like that. Start there for sure. And then once you start to gain some knowledge, I would say maybe find a mentor uh, in your field that you wanna pursue um, because you know it cuts off time, cuts off time for your journey when you're able to learn from people who have you know, made the mistakes and can share that and pass that down. So I hope that helps. All right, this one's from my man, Kenneth, kenneth.sna. How to avoid pressure when relying solely on trading income in the beginning. Build a safety net, build a cushion, so that when you make that leap and you take that jump, there's no stress. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't take that into consideration that when you go full time, there's gonna be that extra pressure. And, you know, a lot of people I feel like don't consider building the safety net until they're full time and then they go, oh crap, I don't have any savings or I don't have any, you know, something to just rely on while you sort this out. Cause it's a whole new experience. It's a whole new, you know, external stress being pushed down on you. So when the time's right, I would say before the time's right and say you want to pursue this, start putting money aside for a cushion, start putting money away for like a safety net for when you do do it and you don't have to worry about um, like any, you know, you don't have to worry about running out of money or anything like that if it starts slow, because I guarantee you when you go full time, for me, I was on a big winning streak. Um, and then when I went full time, I was on a, I lost like my first six trades and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> but I had that cushion and everything like that. So I was very grateful, but that would be my suggestion is build a cushion for when the time's right. Invest, put money aside because you're investing in your future self for when that situation occurs. What are your non-negotiable habits? This question's from Alan Vanner, A-L-A-N-V-A-N-N-E-R underscore. I uh, appreciate the, the comment. What are my non-negotiable habits? I'd say waking up at 5 a.m. That's a new one that I have. Taking my vitamins every single morning. Journaling, uh, I, I write 10 things that I'm grateful for every single morning. And then I write some affirmations as well every single day. Um, what else do I have? Meditation every single morning and uh, oh yeah, getting some sort of physical activity in every single day. Those are my non-negotiables. Anything after that um, is kind of like a bonus because I know that doing those things sets me, primes my body, um, mental, physical for the day ahead, for the days to come. Uh, so yeah, hope that helps. All right, this next question is from Tandy underscore Vangtan. I hope I didn't butch that. Um, have you had problems with friends reaching out to you now that you're successful how did you deal with it um i it feels weird i wouldn't say i'm like in my own you know i'm proud of where i am right now and i would say that i'm on the path to being successful and stuff like that i wouldn't say i'm anywhere near where i you know the end goal and stuff like that but i am grateful with where i am it's just weird reading that off um but yes i have i have had people reach out um, for sure. I've had, I've had so many people reach out to me. Uh, it was mainly on like Snapchat because Snapchat, I had all my like high school friends from my old town on there. Um, so that was kind of like the only place they could get in contact with me. So yeah, I was getting a ton of messages there and, uh, you know, people kind of coming out of the woodwork. It's kind of weird when it happens, but you know, I ended up deleting Snapchat just because of, I just don't want that. Um, but you know, there's some very nice people that I kind of lost touch with. Um, that reached out and you know it's very nice so it depends I'm very good at reading energy and stuff like that and, and the vibe and stuff so if you if you're very nice to me I'm gonna be very nice back um, but yeah it, it's expected um, it's very expected that that's gonna happen uh, but I just feel like as humans that's kind of how that's kind of how 
you know, we are, and we're wired. We want to always kind of jump on what's doing well. So that's why I'm very grateful for, you know, my best friends, my small circle that I have now that was with me the very beginning of the journey when I told them and they didn't even know what it was. Uh, but, but the people around me were still supporting me. So super grateful for that. Um, but I feel like that's totally expected and you know, it's a, it's a good thing in a sense. I feel like that, but yeah, if that happens, when that happens to you on your journey, just be very nice. If people are being nice to you. You got to give that back. That's just how it works. And it makes, uh, everything just more enjoyable for sure. All right. This, uh, this question's from my boy Mackin. I can't pronounce your name, man. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> M-A-C-K-I-N-S-A-D-I-U-K-W-U. Appreciate you, man. You're always supporting me. I'm very, very grateful to have you in my uh, responses here, bro. So he said, what's the major psychological barrier that once you broke through, your results exponentially went up? It's tough to say. I would say my biggest mental psycho psychological barrier. Oh, I got this putting stress on every singular trade. That's the biggest thing ever. Once you have a plan and you know that it works, you don't have to worry about each trade. I don't even think about each individual trade anymore. I just think, of, I just think of the collective. I just think of, I know that if I execute this process that I'm chilling in the long run, that I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Cause I know it's a profitable, consistent strategy. Um, and you just got to stick to it. So I would say, the biggest thing is not putting stress on each trade, just being neutral. When you win, be neutral. When you lose, be neutral. Because, you know, if you're celebrating up on the way there, you know, sorry, if you get a win and you're freaking out and you're all happy, you're, you're just building that expectation that every single trade is going to go that way. There's losing streaks. There's, there's winning streaks. You got to stay neutral for them. So I would just say, stay neutral, uh, stick to your plan. That's another massive one. Okay. Sticking to your trading plan. You must get a trading plan that you've tested that you know that works and not just be there taking trades that kind of just, Oh, I think it's going to do this. Cause then you don't have any data backing up that your thing actually works uh, over a period of time. Um, so yeah, collect data, back test, do all those things. Uh, that was, that was probably my biggest thing was just stop worrying about each individual trade. I hope that helps. All right. This is a great question guys from 365 Hendrick. What are the everyday processes that helped you become successful or get consistency? I would say the inner work. And I know I touched on that in an earlier thing, but also putting in every single bit of effort I have every single day, working super, super hard during the week, um, kind of relaxing on the weekend, but you know, cutting out distractions. That was a massive one. Um, you know, not going out all the time, kind of just making, dedicating every ounce of energy I had to achieving my goals because, you know, I've talked about this in later videos, uh, sorry, earlier videos that, what gets me going isn't thinking about myself. It's thinking about how this skill um, and acquiring this skill set is going to allow me to do everything that I ever wanted for the people around me, you know, help my parents, my girlfriend, um, my future family, uh, people around the world. I want to give back. I want to do all these amazing things. I want to travel. Um, I'm not a very, I don't care about money. Like I truly don't. I'm not a, um, what's the word I'm trying to use here? A materialistic person. I'm not buying clothes all the time. I don't care about cars and stuff. I don't really care about any of that stuff. Um, all that I care about is just being grateful for what I have and just knowing that this strategy, sorry, this, this skill set here can set me up to do things and, and change lives. And that's, that's really wanted. That's really what I want to do. So I would say the everyday processes that I had, um, that have helped me become successful, um, or successful. I, I define successful as being happy every single day. Uh, so I would say that, yes, I am successful. Um, I don't rate success off of like external stuff, uh, because there's so many people that have all the money and are miserable. I wake up every single day on cloud nine. And yes, I would say that that to me is success. Um, I know I'm rambling on here, but I would say the everyday processes would just be finding your why. Um, doing all the inner work um, and just making sure you're in the best mental state and physical state because our, you know, healthy body, healthy mind, it works beautifully. And, you know, just believing in yourself, backing yourself, betting on yourself, uh, just doing that every single day and just giving it 100%, 110% every single day uh, to become better. And with that, you know, it compounds over time and you're going to become better and better and better. And just, you're going to look back. I bet you right now, if you look back on two months ago, three months ago, a year ago, how much better you are um, as a person, as a trader, 
anything. Uh, it's crazy. So we're always so fixated on the, the, the end of the journey that we don't realize how far we've come. Um, and I find that is so, so, so important because that's where, to me, that's where I get my motivation is zooming out and just thinking, whoa, last year I was at in my nine to five job making peanuts, um, working hard and doing all these extra things in school. And it's just, it's crazy to me that uh, this year, this month actually is like my one year of leaving my nine to five and it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So I hope that helps uh, answer your question there. Uh, Chris, Chris Rice, my boy. Uh, what would you consider to be your most important life changing or morning activity? Um, I would say the gratitude, the daily gratitude every single day. I know it's simple and it sounds, you know, how can that help? I promise you, if you start your day writing in a journal 10 things you are grateful for, you automatically start your day on such a good, such a good foot. And I would also say listening to podcasts in the morning um, before you start your day, say in the car, Mindset Mentor, 10 out of 10 podcast. Um, just find someone that you can listen to that really gets you fired up and motivated for that day ahead because there's gonna be days where you wake up not motivated, but that just, you know, it's like putting the fuel in or, or just igniting a little spark underneath a fire that was already going but died down. All it needs sometimes is a little spark and you're, you're good to go. So I hope that helps. All right, this is a good question from Henry and I think I'm gonna finish it off on this. There's so many here, guys. This video could be so long, so I'll have to, I'll probably save this one and do and you have another Q and A at the end of another video. Uh, apart from trading, do you have any other interests that gives you another source of income? Um, you know, I have my mentorship that helps trading, um, and you know, I I, I just I'm kind of just I'm in crypto as well. I'm just trying to focus on building this one skill right now um, and continuing to become good. I want to master this thing, and then you know, from there get into different businesses. I want to be an angel investor one day where I can you know invest in different startups. Uh, kind of like some like shark tank kind of thing um, and just you know provide for people that didn't have you know didn't have the money to to start such an amazing idea I feel like there's so many so that's something that I really want to do one day um, and yeah that's that's probably it right now I'm not interested in real estate or anything like that at the moment I'm kind of just trying to just put everything oh and YouTube YouTube as well um, something that I'm super super proud and happy is in the next probably week or two, I'm going to be eligible to be like a YouTube partner, which is something cool. It was a very, very big dream of mine because I love this platform so much um, and I use it all the time. So to be able to have it as a source of income is an amazing feeling. So uh, yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for 2K if you made it to the end. I love you guys so much. It's been Mac and like I say, every single video, 1% better every single day. Take care, guys.